Gentlemen, let us begin. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We're very grateful that you were able to find time to see us. I wouldn't have asked at such short notice, but we're in dire need of your help. The country of Karain has opposed our plans for a United World Army ever since our proposal. You will, of course, be aware that they've already withdrawn from the United Nations. Soon after this, they began a campaign of indiscriminate aggression against their neighbors. Well, six hours ago, they invaded the Republic of Ult and dug in. Unfortunately for us, Karain is surrounded on three sides by a desert and on the fourth by the ocean. The desert rules out a ground offensive due to the effects that magnetic storms have on our radar and tracking systems. This leaves the ocean as our only way in. To add further to this catastrophe, two hours ago, three helicopters from the Ult military tried to break through the Karain harbor defenses. They were confronted by a strange super weapon which destroyed them. These pictures were taken by a spy satellite situated above the area. Upon consulting our military records, we can conclude that we have nothing like this. Worse still, we can say without any doubt that taking into account the ease with which this weapon disposed of the Elf helicopters, it has more firepower and better maneuverability than our newest plane, the F-30. With this in mind, we have agreed to send the aircraft carrier Alexandria to assist the Elf military in their defense efforts. If Alexandria is to be of any use to the Elf military, we are going to need support from Curon. You're right. Sir, I don't understand. Who the hell are they anyway? They're here with a new secret weapon for us. It appears that the boys up top don't think we can kick ass without it. Funny, I was under the impression that the president wanted disarmament. <laughs> These guys look as if they're spoiling for a fight. Quiet. We don't have a choice. Just live with it, okay? These boxes are gonna have to come off fast. I've got a test in the morning, and I'd like an early start. This is some mother. Trying to land an aircraft here. Okay, okay, I'm gone. if you've sprained your wrist. Should be fine in a couple of days. Just rested for a while. Right, who's next up? Yes, we've all been touched by the hand of God. Our very existence is proof of that. We're fully committed to establishing a new world order in which peace prospers. There will, of course, be many hostile obstacles in our way, but I believe we have the determination to make it work. I believe that we can win, that people will see their hopes and aspirations Don't you think he's been acting strange? I mean, uh, his vital signs just seem different. Nah, he's fine. He's just a bit nervous about tomorrow, that's all. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. <laughs> Greatest creation working. <clears throat> if one were to photograph the human body from an elevated plane, several distinct shadows would begin appearing. These are what's known as mind shadows. 
Within these shadows, there exists a universe far beyond the mortal plane. There is a type of energy called Chi, which blows like a savage wind through that universe. The name that I have given to that wind is Vajra. This machine is the Mandala. It was designed to extend one's mind shadows, thus rendering the Vajra infinite. It's done, Ken. Our work is finished. The Mandala. Through my research, I've come to the conclusion that most military failings are down to human error. This means that no matter how perfect a super weapon is, it's still in the hands of a less than perfect operator. I believe the time has come for that operator to be improved. The Vajranoid. When the human body receives Vajra energy, it deteriorates, destroying itself. Dr. Morgan's research has shown this. So I've replaced it with a cyborg body. This allows the Vajranoid to fuse with whatever weapon it's operating and become a part of its workings, making it the most perfect weapon and operator ever created. Don't you think you're pushing him a little too hard, son? Just sit back and enjoy the fun. He's more than just a pilot. The most supreme warrior to be created. Dr. Morgan could not have imagined the power my Vajranoid has at his fingertips. Mr. Sakamitsu, we seem to have a real problem here. He's flying off course. This can't happen. Mr. Sakamitsu, what is this? Leave him alone. Sir, I don't understand. What is it? Captain, we're receiving an SOA. This is a UNN investigative team. We've been collecting data from Karai. We've been attacked and hit. I've got a wounded civilian aboard, and I need to land immediately. Repeat immediately. You've got permission to land on our deck. I'll have my men get a rescue unit to you when you touch down. Sir, it looks like they're gonna hit. The UNM plane is being pursued by the F-30. You stupid, ignorant, fucking piece of shit! Your monster could have killed those people in cold blood! Oh, how could you humiliate me like that out there? Pay attention! Listen to what I'm saying! You can't even move without that suit, you understand? You live because of me! Why did you disobey my orders? What kind of behavior is that, huh? I don't want any more of this! In future, you do as you're told. Attention. There is a foreign body on board this ship. What's this? Attention. We have been penetrated by a foreign body. We must seek and destroy. <laughs> Cut it out, you guys. You're not being fair. And stop staring. You're embarrassing her. <laughs> Is a cyborg body that unusual to see? I mean, I, I know she's got the body of a cyborg, but she can still lead a normal life. And if one of you lost a limb in battle, what do you think would happen? When that time comes, I won't give a fuck, but 
It don't look like anybody could lead a normal life with a body like that. Fucking A. Hey, Dr. Myra, you know I heard that the Caribbean army has turned all their prostitutes into a bunch of spies. I know it sounds crazy, but you gotta be careful. <laughs> How can you be so nasty to her? Assholes! Shit! What the fuck you doing? <gasps> did... Did you do that? <laughs> Who are you? What's happening? They all died. I was playing on a beach, and then planes came and killed everyone. Everyone. You can talk. Didn't any of you guys hear her? She spoke to me, didn't you hear her? All my friends, all dead. And more will die. You've really been through a lot, haven't you? It's okay now. There's absolutely nothing for you to worry about. I'm here now, and I'll protect you always. Hey, Laura, you're going too fast. Why don't you slow down a little? You can fall. And don't go too far, because if you get lost, we'd never be able to find you in this maze. Have you heard? Laura's supposed to have telepathic powers, sir. Yeah, but she only communicates with Dr. Myra. I think it's because Myra lost her own child. The kid was about the same age as Laura and looked very much like her. Really? Her name was also Laura. She went on a vacation alone and died in a tragic plane crash. Dr. Myra never really got over it. I suppose that's why she gave her child's name to this girl. Laura, I'd better go find her or she'll miss taking her medication. Dr. Myra. Oh, Father. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. You look as if you might have lost something. <sighs> if it's Laura you've lost, I saw her playing on the deck. She's fine. Thank you, I thought she was lost. You have got to be joking. You don't have any right to go snooping around my research equipment. Mr. Sakamitsu, as the captain, I have the right to snoop wherever I choose in ensuring the safety of my crew and ship. This can be done by force, Mr. Sakamitsu. Oh. Laura! Laura, where are you? It's like looking for a needle in a haystack. Hey, 
Hey, man, what the hell's got into him? Demons! You can stay if you want, but you'll die! Everyone will die! Any response from the lab? Shit! Let's get down there. <gasps> what in the fuck? Sir, we got a very unusual energy source here. Next stage of Genocyber, the cyber monster from an imaginary world. Laura has lost control. Surrounded by fear and death, she metamorphosizes into Genocyber, unleashing her deadly powers on the world once more. The aircraft carrier Alexandria becomes a battleground as the two cyber warriors square up. The second round between Genocyber and the Bajranoid. Could this be the end of civilization as we know it? Will there be a victor at all? Genocyber, stage three. Global War. It's the more 